Alrighty, so you guys asked and here I am dropping my top 10 new coasters for 2019. I have a feeling you may find my list a bit controversial and I have to warn you, if you're one of those people that don't like other people's opinions, then turn away now. For this journey I'm about to take you, we'll have your tea kettle steaming, alright? <laughs> All that aside though, I really hope you enjoy my top 10 list and feel free to comment down below and share yours as well. Um, so let's get this started. So. Coming in at number 10, um, I think uh, this might trigger a few people, but we have Batman the Ride at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So it's a clone, so I don't really have too much to say about this coaster blowing me away for the 2019 season. I will say I have heard these are quite enjoyable. So I have heard from a couple of people that the this coaster is pretty enjoyable. A lot of people really enjoy them as um, each ride is different from the, the previous one. Um, so it seems like Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is definitely getting something um, cool, but it definitely doesn't take me away. It doesn't wow me. Um, but coming in at number nine is Drakenfire Flyer, sorry, at Dollywood, a family suspended coaster. So it's also a clone like the previous one, um, but this one definitely was more of a wow factor for me. So when it came to this versus the Batman ride, this gave me more of a wow factor due to its extensive theming and immersive area. So Dollywood for sure knocked this expansion and coaster out of the water with an immersive area um, that is taking place in some sort of like woodland area. It may not be a 12 inch version 200 mile per hour coaster, but it's a brilliant addition nonetheless, and I look forward to checking it out in 2019. So hopefully you guys agree and think this is an amazing addition for Dollywood. It's definitely like an amazing immersive area from, you know, the attractions around it to it being like a family coaster that's brilliantly themed. It's definitely gonna make 2019 at Dollywood an amazing season. So coming in at number eight, for me is the Gert Slauer free spin coaster being built at Nickelodeon Universe. So it seems like Nickelodeon Universe is getting two coasters for 2019 season, which is really impressive. So this is one out of the two. It's supposed to be the largest free spin coaster in the world with what also looks like an amazing interaction with the Takabisha clone also being built there. Not too much to say about this one as these coasters are fun and pack a great punch but they most certainly don't blow me away like the other coasters on this list. So coming in at number seven, this is going to be a bit controversial, is West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I know I just triggered a bunch of people and I apologize. This is just my opinion. So get your cups ready because I have quite the tea to spill moving forward. So West Coast Racers looks really amazing, but for me, it wasn't what I expected for Six Flags Magic Mountain. I don't know about you, but I was expecting something more unique and different from what Six Flags Magic Mountain already had to offer. Two fast-paced coasters that have tight turns and similar inversions to me doesn't really fill that void and blow me away, to be honest, especially compared to what other parks announced for the 2019 season. Now, a lot of people feel this is going to be better than the next coaster in the lineup. And yeah, to you, that's totally your opinion and you're entitled to that opinion as well. And it's totally valid as well. So don't get me wrong. This is an absolutely amazing coaster. And if it were located at my home park or another park, this would be more of a wow factor. So it's just not there compared to the park it's at. So coming in at number six, this one Oh, this one was a, a very difficult one for me to play. So now this may come as a shock to everyone, including my Canadian subscribers. Why isn't this higher on my list? OMG, I'm unsubscribing. How dare you betray us like that? <laughs> Do not fret, my friends. Um, this will deep down be my favorite coaster of 2019 for so many reasons. This coaster helped build this community I've created, and it's been so amazing to turn my passion and interest into the channel, Amusement Insiders, that has gotten people that are typically known as like general public or people who don't didn't find coasters that interesting, now interested in coasters. There's a lot of you on my channel, and I really appreciate you guys. Um, 
I do, however, have to put my bias aside. I do. Um, and rank this coaster fairly. I, however, will state this coaster is extremely underrated in the coaster community and is being treated like the typical one trick pony. This, however, I strongly put my foot down and defend. Yukon Striker will feature a 188 foot Immelman loop from the base of the drop to the top of the crest after diving into a tunnel that was purposely designed to look like a pinhole and that you can't fit in from the top of the drop. So they literally designed this tunnel to make it look like you can't fit. Um, it has the most unique layout for a dive coaster with four inversions before you even touch a trim break or the mid course break as well. Um, it has a unique little pop of floater airtime after the vertical loop and is what's called a runway and features the first vertical loop on a dive coaster. It will be heavily themed and help introduce a new area called Frontier Canada and the coaster also pays homage to one of the park's lost coaster Skyrider, and that's why it features the vertical loop and a slow helix at the end. This will truly be an amazing coaster and underrated coaster for 2019, and I encourage everyone to ride it and then judge it. But coming in at number five definitely goes to um, Copperhead Strike for Carowinds, one of the worst kept secrets of 2019, along with Yukon Striker. Um, so this beauty of a coaster features two launches, one of which has a pop of airtime during the launch and will be truly immersive in a newly themed area. Any coaster with extensive theming automatically earns bonus points in my opinion. Anyone who knows me knows I love theming. If a coaster has a storyline and theming, it's instantly won over by me. For those of you who have followed me along, definitely know that especially um, comes true to the Universal Parks. So it will have five impressive inversions and lots of tight turns, twists, and hang time based off of the animation. I will say the speed factor on this being close to that of a family coaster had me move this down on my list, but I have a feeling this will be one of those coasters of 2019 that completely blow me away. In fact, this whole list will probably change as of 2019 when I ride a lot of these coasters. Anyways, Hopefully I haven't lost you yet due to my controversial opinions because it's only about to get a hundred times more fun with my countdown of the top 10 best new coasters of 2019. So don't get me wrong, Copperhead Strike may be only number five on my list, but I know damn well this coaster is going to blow me away when I actually ride it and it'll probably be bumped up on my list once I ride it like a lot of these coasters on the list. So coming in at number four is the Takabisha clone being built over at Nickelodeon Universe. So, in fact, Nickelodeon Universe has made my list twice for 2019, as you can tell. Um, so that's pretty impressive in itself. So the Takabisha clone coming to Nickelodeon Universe will feature the steepest drop. So as you see right there, the steepest drop. Um, seven inversions. So... Seven inversions, a vertical lift, and a 762, sorry, 62 mile per hour launch. That's crazy. So again, the steepest drop, seven inversions, a vertical lift, and a 62 mile per hour launch. That's crazy. So obviously you can see how this would rank as number four on my list for 2019, but probably leaves you questioning what is number one, two, and three. And if I left out any coasters for a specific reason, hmm, hopefully you haven't had too much tea to drink because we're about to start the top three coasters of 2019 with the most difficult two to arrange ever. So coming in at number three um, for the third best new coaster for 2019, in my opinion, is Steel Curtain from Kennywood. So I had this at number two and kept switching it out and in and out again. This was truly difficult to arrange for me as these two coasters are in my most anticipated list. Steel Curtain will feature a whole nine inversions. That's nine inversions for those that didn't hear me the first time. Nine times this ride will toss you upside down. And if that's not enough, one of those inversions is the tallest inversion in the world. Yes, Steel Curtain breaks both a world record for tallest inversion and a North American record for most inversions. This coaster was a huge controversy, had huge controversy when it was announced. A lot of people hate the name and theme 
and I strongly feel those factors overshadowed how amazing this coaster truly looks. Throw that color scheme, name, and theme out, and you have what's truly an amazing layout. This thing looks like it's going to have near misses and really confuse you as you try and keep down what you just ate for lunch. This is one out of three of the most anticipated coasters for 2019 for me, and I cannot wait to get a front row ride on this beauty. Coming in at number two for the 2019 season is Max Force from Six Flags Great America. So this coaster, for anyone that remembers my reaction when it was announced, was one that truly blew me away. I was not expecting this one at all, and it truly looks impressive. Max Force features a 78 mile per hour launch in just a couple of seconds. 78 miles per hour on a coaster with five inversions. Okay, so we can, all, so we all just spilled our tea there on this one. Um, some may have even dropped their tea, um, but that's fine because this coaster truly is amazing. If it wasn't for my number one most anticipated, then this would have been my number one. This coaster not only has five inversions, but it's said to feature the fastest, in, fastest inversion in the world. In the world, that's crazy. Picture that for a second and tell me you're not impressed. Uh, now this coaster's received a lot of comments on its length being short and I have to all I have to say to you is top till dragster and king to ka. Just because a coaster layout isn't 12 minutes long and feature five lift hills um, featuring tunes such as it's a small world after all doesn't mean it can't be an absolutely amazing coaster. And here we have it. Coming in at number one is a brand new immersive adventure coaster coming to Islands of Adventure. One that shall not be named. Just kidding. We actually don't know the name of it yet, despite the coaster's layout pretty much being complete and theming going up around it now. The unknown Harry Potter coaster features tight turns, multiple launches, and what even looks like a reverse launch and drop track elements along with theming out of this world is slated to open in 2019. More news will be dropped early 2019, and for anyone that knows me knows I absolutely love Harry Potter and the Wizarding World at Universal Studios. And once again, any coaster with extensive theming is impressive and out of this world to me. This coaster looks to have a significantly long layout and is rumored to tell quite a storyline while riding it. I absolutely look forward to riding this in 2019 and all of those reasons are exactly why this coaster has earned the top spot for number one on my list of 20, or of top 10 in 2019. Now it's your turn. Comment down below what your top three new coasters for 2019 is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching guys and have a great one. Bye.